welcome back to my channel for another cleaning and organization video. In today's video, I'm taking you guys along with me while I tackle the disgusting mess of my kitchen. I have let this become so out of hand over the past several months and it's actually really embarrassing and I know I say that in a lot of these videos, but 2019 is definitely gonna be a year to clean and organize. <music> cleaning and organizing I always try and make sure that I'm taking everything out making sure that everything still has a purpose and is still useful I also like to make sure that I'm cleaning out all of the drawers and making sure that they're really nice and clean and vacuumed out if need be before I start reloading them as you can see by this junk drawer at the bottom this was supposed to be the boys lunch kit drawer but it ended up just collecting so many unuseful items that we do not need so most of this is actually going in the trash. I'm just gonna be putting this Melissa and Doug um, sensory play I don't even know what you call these they're like shapes and colors I actually just opened this one up for the first time again I'm gonna keep it up here so that he is not destroying it and losing all of the pieces and these are things that we can pull out during um, quiet time or educational play we let him do a lot of playing on his own but like I've mentioned in previous videos we are also his number one educators because I'm a stay-at-home mom, so it's super important that we do all of the crafts and all of this stuff with him as well. And having it all tucked away up here is neat and tidy, and it will definitely be more organized so that when we want to use it, we'll just be able to pull it out. Moving on to this side of the cupboard, this one is going to be a little bit more traditional as a kitchen cupboard. I'm actually going to be putting in some boxes of cereal right here, if I can get them fitting. And uh, we normally have quite a bit of cereal in our house because the boys really enjoy it. That one's gonna be too big. The boys really enjoy cereal. We try and make healthy choices when it comes to cereal, but I mean, there's not very many healthy cereal options. And when they do eat it, I guess it's just like a treat and they can have it anyways. <music> The whole pile that's on the floor on the left hand side are things that we're trashing that just really don't have a purpose and then I'm just organizing everything a little bit better inside these drawers I love having some of Easton's craft items here so you can pull out a coloring book some of the boys schoolwork and board games are also here as well so we actually haven't been using this corner cabinet for a while now because we didn't have a lock on it and my toddler was always getting into it and ripping everything out and we really didn't have a purpose for anything that we wouldn't mind him ripping out. So I'm gonna clean it up now. As you can see, we got our little hooks 
and I'm probably gonna put like paper towel or something like that in here. We have a ton of paper towel. So I'm gonna start by cleaning it out. I'm actually using the um, Method All Purpose Cleaner in the Lime and Sea Salt today, just to switch it up a little bit. I go between this one and the Clementine one quite a bit. Sometimes I'll use the grapefruit one, especially in the summer and spring, but for today, I need to finish this one up. So I'm gonna use this one. As I'm cleaning this up, I'm noticing how dirty and crusty all of these cabinets are. They are so, so gross. And this one here is actually on backwards or it's missing the little thing here. I haven't even actually noticed that. We've been living in the house. It's been a year at the end of December. So, you know, it's just maybe not our priority right now, but I'm gonna quickly clean this up and then reload it as well. Everybody, can you feel the groove? Normally when I'm cleaning, I like to do it the KonMari way and pull everything out, take a look at everything, touch everything, see what we're using, what sparks joy, what we need, what is just cluttering the space, but being almost 29 weeks pregnant, I can't guarantee that I can empty all 30 cabinets and want to do it all in a day, and I'm not the type of person who wants to leave a mess on my counter or on the floors for days at a time, so I'm actually taking it cabinet by cabinet today emptying one cabinet at a time, deciding where everything's gonna go, cleaning the cabinet and putting it back away. You can take some tips and tricks from all kinds of different people, but you're better off catering it and personalizing it to what you like and what works for you and your family. You might have all day, you might have the energy to do it all day. You might not have little kids or um, busy toddlers or a ton of stuff going on, and that's okay, but if you guys are busy, then you can do it this way as well. All right, so I don't need to do these four cupboards here because those are my pantry, and I actually filmed that in a video last week and showed it to you guys. So this is basically what it looks like. They are all clean and neat and tidy. If you guys wanna see that video, I will link it up in the cards and down below as well, but that definitely was super helpful in cleaning it up as well. And then I just have some other items in here. So go and check out that video if you guys are interested in seeing how I organized my pantry. Again, this is not a super conventional pantry because um, it's not like your standard pantry, but this is all we have in our house. And I was just super happy to be able to group all of these cupboards together. So now on to the second bank of drawers. We are so blessed to have so many cabinets and drawers in our kitchen, but we have really not been putting them to good use because they're not organized correctly and there is stuff everywhere. So with that, I'm just going to clean out this disgusting utensil tray. I don't know how many times I clean this, but it does become full of crumbs and full of dust all of the time. And our utensils are what we're eating with. So I really wanna make sure that all of these are really clean all of the time. I'm also organizing it by putting some smaller spoons and forks on either side, the larger ones in the middle, and then some sharp knives at the back where my toddler could not reach them. In this second drawer, I don't have a whole lot to do in here. We're actually not putting a lock on this one because we are gonna allow him to continue playing with these utensils. I find it's really good for Montessori play to allow your toddler to play with certain items. So I'm just gonna move some of those more dangerous items. And then for this third drawer, as you guys can see, it has accumulated so many things. Our dish towels are no longer folded because like I said, my toddler has been playing with every single thing inside here. So I'm just gonna quickly take everything out before I reorganize it. And this bottom one here has so many items as well because he has just kind of been throwing things around. But I promise you guys, we have some locks, so we are gonna be locking these cabinets so that he cannot destroy everything. Moving on to folding, I'm just separating the ones that we're gonna be tossing, anything that might be like torn or stained. There's no need to have this many dish towels and cloths. And then also putting away the Christmas ones because I am totally late on that. And then I'm just gonna fold them in this KonMari style way. I feel like these look a lot neater this way. I also think that they're easier to see. You got 
I'll be feeling alright Whenever I'm around you, baby So this is the next cupboard and I showed you guys that in my last kitchen cleaning video in the pantry one that this used to be the pantry and then I moved our glasses over here so I don't really have much to do in here it's probably not like placed super neatly because our glasses don't match but that's okay they're glass and they're just made for drinking we actually use a lot of these mason jars to drink and most of them are actually in the dishwasher right now and then we've got some beer glasses and some other cocktail glasses up there that we don't really use very often. Um, but yeah, so this is basically like this. And then when I did the pantry, I also cleaned all of this out before I put them in here. So like I said, I don't have a whole lot to do in here. <laughs> So while I'm doing these top cabinets, this is the corner cabinet where I typically keep all of my coffee and some bottled water and some stuff to make shakes and our Nutribullet and things like that as well. But as you guys can see, we still have so many coffee cups that are Christmas related in here. So many items in here that probably do not belong and it has gotten kind of dirty at the bottom if you can see that from coffee being spilt and just coffee grinds and things like that. So I'm just going to quickly spray it down and really scrub it down make sure that it smells really good and that it's really nice and fresh before I start reorganizing everything in here. I just want to keep it looking really neat and tidy, making sure that we only have the Ninja Bullet, our protein powders, coffee, and the coffee mugs that we are actually using on a daily basis. to my spice cabinet this has been something that we've been tackling for a while and it's been kind of cluttered so we're using these little glass jars to organize them a lot better that way this is what they look like on the little rack so it's actually gonna look super neat inside our cupboard and I'm just gonna use these same labels that I've used for other things <laughs> So cleaning the windows is not something that I typically do every time I clean our kitchen. As you can see, it is still cold and snowy and dreary outside. This is just going to freshen up the space a little bit. These windows tend to get pretty dirty from all the splashes from the sink. And we tend to keep so many things on this windowsill and that ends up getting gross and grimy as well. So I'm just going to quickly scrub it all down, use my little brush as well to scrub it down. Sometimes things get in the crevices and it can get pretty gross. So in this bowl, I just have some plain white vinegar. I like to clean with this periodically. We do have some hard water. We use a water softener, but sometimes the water buildup can get pretty gross. So I'm just going to put in my little strainer in here just to let it kind of take all the corrosion off of it. And I'm gonna use this little brush to clean around some of the parts of the faucet. They can get a lot of buildup, so it's nice once in a while to be able to just quickly clean this up. I don't do this every time I clean the kitchen. I don't do it nearly enough, 
but you can see that around the faucet and stuff, it was getting pretty bad. Every day is Since I was told that you don't want me But baby, you're just cold I'm also taking this time to clean out my sink properly. I wash it every day, but I don't scrub it out every day and I'm not this meticulous, but there's nothing like a clean sink. You'll see in a little minute, I'm just going to wipe it down as well. That is so satisfactory, even though we're gonna be using the water in probably 30 seconds, at least for the time being, it's going to look shiny and pretty. As I've mentioned before, we live in a pretty old house and our kitchen definitely needs a remodel. This sink is just terrible. I would prefer to have a huge basin sink or a double basin sink and get rid of the chrome and stainless steel. But for the time being, this is just gonna have to do, so I'm trying to clean it out properly. And then when I'm all done doing that, I'm just pouring the rest of the vinegar inside the sink. This way it can kind of like neutralize the odors that's inside there and make everything smell better. Moving on, I'm also gonna be scrubbing down my backsplash. Now, normally I use a tile cleaner for this or like a powder cleaner, but I had none left, so I'm just using my all-purpose cleaner by Method. It's in the grapefruit scent, which is awesome. And I'm just gonna use my brush and go in circular motions and get it a little bit soapy and make it um, just take off any kind of splashing and anything that might be on that backsplash. <laughs> Also using my method degreaser to clean around the fridge this is also an area that can get kind of grimy and gross and dusty and I probably don't do it near enough but I prefer to use all natural products especially method when I'm cleaning around my house I do use some Clorox wipes on our bathrooms periodically just to disinfect them better but I do prefer to use non-toxic products especially when it comes to cleaning our clothes and anything that will touch the food that we will be eating and then I'm finishing the fridge off by quickly wiping down the stainless steel part of this. Now I could probably do this 10 times a day and it doesn't get near clean enough. As you guys can see, I have our little child lock there, but my toddler always has his hands all over the fridge. And as soon as we put on the freezer lock, he learned how to open the fridge doors as well. So it's a lose-lose situation regardless. Now moving on to the lower part of our kitchen, I typically like to work from top to bottom. That just makes the most sense to me. And this here has gotten so out of control. We had a couple of people over yesterday and I swear we empty our trash bin and our recycling bin every single day and it still ends up looking like this.
can see by the part of this video where I'm rubbing my stomach, she is actually moving quite a bit during this video, which is really rare. Typically she'll move when I'm laying down or sitting on the couch or something like that. But she has just been furiously kicking, which is so awesome. So I'm just gonna finish this kitchen clean with me by vacuuming our floors and then using our steam mop as well. I love the Dyson vacuum, it is so easy to use and I also love our Shark steam mop for our wood floors. It has been a game changer since I got it on Black Friday so I will link those down below if you're interested in getting them. I can tell you guys, cleaning this kitchen has taken me so long, there is not a cupboard or a drawer that I did not touch. Everything is just so much better organized now and clean and I'm just loving it. Like I mentioned, it's probably not what I expect out of a kitchen, but that will come when it comes. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.